say you have one EC2 server and you want to run some command on it, how you will do it? You will connect or SSH into the server and run that command. If you have two, three instances, still you can do one by one and run those commands. But what happens when you have hundreds of those servers? Then there is a problem and that is a problem statement. You need some solution where you can centrally connect somewhere and run command simultaneously on all those servers. That's where system manager will help you. And we are going to see how to remotely run commands using system manager on an EC2 instance. So stay tuned. Welcome guys. I am in a management console. Let's first create a service role which you will assign to your EC2 demo server. Go to roles, click on create role. Then choose EC2 service. Click next. Choose permission. Here search for SSM which is system manager and select policy Amazon SSM manage instance core. Then click next. Specify role name. You can just put like enable EC2 to access system manager role. Something like that. Then click create role and then role is now created. Just see the required policies attached. You can just browse through it and see that required policies attached. And now let's create EC2 server. Go to EC2 service and click on launch instance. Specify some name. Say EC2 for SSM demo. You did not specify EC2 key pair for this demo. Just choose proceed without a key pair. And in the role, you should choose the role which we created. Yeah, just launch instance and wait for a moment. Like you can see that instance will be available uh, in a moment or so. Just refresh it once more. And yeah, it's running, right? So now we will use this instance for running some command remotely. So just go to systems manager. Yeah, in node management, you can see run command. And that's what we are going to use for remotely running commands on this particular instance. So click on run command. And here, choose document name prefix, which is equal to AWS update SSM agent. SSM agent is there by default on the EC2 server based on the AMI what we choose, right? With this, we are upgrading it. Now choose the target. You can choose it manually and choose that EC2 instance and you have option to choose it as with instance tag. So if you are tagging this instance when you are launching it, right? So that helps like you can select multiple instances with that tag. Okay, then just run the command. Yeah, I'll just pause and come back when it's available. Okay, so it is a success. You can see that command completed successfully. I'm just showing you a command description, command parameter you can see in this console itself. And now you can go to view output. Yeah, so here you can see the output which is generated by the command what we ran, right? Like uh, AWS SSM update, agent update. Okay, so let me show you one another command, right? I'll just show you a couple of those. So you will appreciate and uh, just uh, be familiarized with the another syntax or another document which is run shell script. So here you can run pretty much everything like it is a shell script, right? So you can just go down and just give your Linux best command. This is Linux based instance. So you just give some command here. I'm just giving sudo m update hyphen y, right? So this is usually we do it on manually on EC2 server. I'm just doing it through this shell uh, run shell script document. So this is exactly the same what what we have done before just i'll just refresh it. it it should be fairly quick okay so we can see that this document also ran successfully or the command which we ran it is successful so just see the output so it is exactly same output what as if we ran manually on this right but we haven't connected to connected to ec2 server at all so that is the beauty right you can see the command completed successfully and that's the last one more command I'll just show you right document name prefix equal just I'll do the same run shell script choose the document just go down and here you just type any Linux command I'm just doing say date and uname minus C just to see what is the operating system 
and what is the current date so choose instance manually and just run it so as simple as that so if you refresh you can see it command completed successfully so just see the output once again and you can see this is a date and this is u name minus a output so that's it so it is that simple i have just showed you one single instance but you can do pretty much simultaneously on multiple instances yeah that is how you can run commands on ec2 instance remotely without manually connecting to it so that's it guys hope you learn something new don't forget to clean this up and cleaning here is just deleting that ec2 instance what we created hope you learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comments so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching